Hey there boys and girls, welcome back to ITTV's lesson of Form 1 Mathematics. This chapter, we are going to move on into number patterns and sequences. You ready? Let's get moving. In this chapter, dear students, we're going to see types of some special numbers, such as even numbers, odd numbers, and prime numbers. Later, we'll be checking out multiples. And under multiples, we've got common multiples, and then there is lowest common multiples, best known as LCM. Finally, we'll be moving on into factors. Now, there are two types of factors, prime factors and common factors. And under common factors, we'll be taking a look at highest common factor, better known to you as HCF, number patterns and sequences, characteristics of a given sequences, also known as pattern. A sequence is a collection of numbers displaying a certain pattern. For example, 1, 5, 9, 13, and so on. A sequence can be extended by observing the change from one number to the next. For example, in this sequence, 1, 5, 9, and 13, the change from one number to the next is addition of 4. 1 add 4, 5. 5 add 4, 9. And 9 add 4, 13. The succeeding term, which means the next term, is obtained by adding 4 to the preceding term, which is the one before. So boys and girls, right now you've already known three new terms. A sequence, the succession of numbers, and then there's got to be a change between those numbers, right? And then there is something known as a preceding term and a succeeding term. So what are all this? Let me show to you clearly on the board. Let's take a look. So say suppose I give you a pattern 1, 5, 9, 13 and so on. Now, let's say we focus on this number 5 here. Now, there is a term to the left of number 5, right? There is also a term to the right of number 5. Now, the term before the number, the term before the number, and this is known as the precedent term. However, the term that comes right after this number that we are talking about, so the term that comes after number 9, okay, so this term is known as the succeeding term. So, let me just make a very good, very fast kind of an exercise for you. Let's say... I picked the number 9. What is the preceding term? Good, 5. What is the succeeding term for 1? Very good, 5. What is the preceding term for 13? Awesome, 9. Do you get it? Good. Now, first we've got to observe the number pattern and find out what is the relationship between all these numbers here. So there's got to be a certain change, right? So, the change that is being observed here is when we add with 4. Now, remember boys and girls that we can continuously write down the numbers that are coming or the numbers that are going to be the succeeding term in this pattern. So, what will be the succeeding term for 13? What you got to do is add 4. 17. Can you give me the next succeeding term? When we add 4, we will get 21. And the number pattern can continue so on and so forth. The next one is 25 and then 29. You get the idea? Very good. So if this is clear for you, boys and girls, let's move on and see some special numbers. Some special numbers. The first one that we're going to observe are odd numbers. 
odd numbers are whole numbers that cannot be divided exactly by 2. So dear students, what does this actually mean? Cannot be divided exactly by 2. Now that means if you were to take an odd number and divide it by 2, there will be a remainder. Now that means it cannot be divided exactly by 2. Now let's do this. How much is 4 divided by 2? 2. Can it be divided exactly by 2? Yes. Is 4 an odd number? No. Is 3 an odd number? How do you know 3 is an odd number? 3 divided by 2. Is there a remainder? Yes. If there is a remainder, it should be an odd number. Good. Let's carry on. Odd numbers are whole numbers that end with 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. For example, 19, 423 ends with a 3. 3817 ends with a 7. 57,959, it ends with a 9. These are all odd numbers. Hey there students, what is the opposite of odd numbers? Even numbers. What are they? Let's check it out. Even numbers are whole numbers that can be divided exactly by 2. For example, 2, 4, 6, 8 and so on. Even numbers are whole numbers that end with 0, 2, 4, 6 and 8. For example, 16, 248, 3,396, 87,654. Next students, let's take a look at this table that shows you a result of algebraic operations on odd and or even numbers. Now let's observe the table given. When you add two odd numbers, the result will be even. When you minus two odd numbers, the result will also be even. When we multiply two odd numbers, the result will also be an odd number. When two odd numbers are divided, the result will be an odd number, provided that the two odd numbers can be divided exactly. So students, say suppose I pick two odd numbers, 15 and 3. So now I'm going to do multiple operations with them. Now first, 15 add 3, 15 minus 3, 15 times 3, 15 divide 3. Now let's see, odd number add with odd number, it will give us a even number. Can you see this? Good. Now let's do this. 15 minus 3, 12. Right? Odd minus odd will give you even. So it's kind of easy, isn't it? When an odd number multiplies with an odd number, so 15 multiply 3, 45. You get an odd number. Odd divide by odd, 15 divide by 3, we will get an odd number. So, is this easy for you? Good. Let's get back to the table and see the next set of numbers. When two even numbers are added, the results are even. When two even numbers undergo subtraction, the result should also be even. When two even numbers are multiplied, the results are even. Finally, when two even numbers are divided, the result should be even. That is, if the two even numbers in the beginning are divisible exactly. So now let's say I pick two even numbers. Uh, let's say 24 and another number 6. Now, I'm going to do the same operations with both these even numbers and then we'll try to find out what are the results. So first, we're going to add. Then, we will take these two even numbers minus 
multiply and finally divide so when we take two even numbers and we add them we end up getting another even number see next even number minus with another even number 24 minus 6 18 even again 24 multiplied by 6 is a hundred and forty four so 144 is another even number isn't it 24 divided by 6 answers 4 another even number do you understand the summary now good let's get back to the table that is another set that we got to look at when an odd number is added to an even number the results will be an odd number when an odd number is subtracted by an even number the result will be an odd number however when an odd number and an even number are multiplied the answer will always be an even number however an odd number cannot be divided by an even number why because if you do so there will be a remainder therefore it cannot divide exactly so in this case we are going to take one even number and one odd number right so let's say i take the odd number as 23 even number 8. let's do the same operations to them add first then we're going to subtract then we'll try to multiply and finally we'll see if we can divide them so first 23 add with 8 will give you a product 31 odd number add with even number the result will be a odd number 23 minus 8 the answer boys and girls is 15 which is an odd number next 23 multiplied by 8 the answer 184 odd number multiplied with even number gives you an even number so what about this 23 divided by 8 can it be divided exactly or will there be a remainder there will be a remainder how do you know very simple Carry out the multiplication of 8 8 times 1 8 8 multiplied by 2 16 8 multiplied by 3 24 see we have just overshot 23 so can it be divided exactly no so let's leave this so let's pick an even number say 24 divide by give me an odd number let's say 3 all right now boys and girls 24 divided by 3 possible yes possible without remainder possible very possible 24 divided by 3 the answer is 8 but not all will be possible so let's pick another example and i'll show you say for example i pick 16 divided by 3 this is also an even number this is also an odd number now can you divide it without a remainder no you can't why because 3 multiplied by 5 is 15 3 multiplied by 6 is 18 with that boys and girls i hope you understand the table let's move on and carry on to see other stuff the next thing on our list is prime numbers a prime number is a whole number that can only be divided exactly by two whole numbers that is itself and the whole number one for example two three five seven eleven and so on these are all prime numbers all prime numbers are odd numbers except for the first which is two there are lots of students who make a common mistake by thinking that all odd numbers are prime numbers you have to understand that the whole number one now that is not a prime number so students 
prime numbers. Let's take a look at an example so that you better understand prime numbers. Boys and girls, let's take a look at this number. 8. Is 8 a prime number? Oh, it's not a prime number. How do you know it's not a prime number? Because I already gave you the list. Now, why is it not the prime number? Oh, now, that's the question that you have to answer. Now, I'll explain to you. You see, let's list down the factors that make up 8. Now, very simple. 1 multiplied by 8 will give you 8, right? At the same time, 2 multiplied by 4 will give you 8 also. Now, what does this mean? Now, this means 8 is not a prime number. Why? Simply because 8 has got more than two factors, right? So, with this, I hope you can understand what makes the basis of a prime number. So, boys and girls, with that, we have completed the first lesson of Chapter 2. Now, remember to watch through this program again and make sure you really, really understand what are all these numbers about. With that, thank you for watching ITTV. Till we meet again in the next lesson.